I think they should they should uh crucify him. No, what they call him. <laughs> 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 fucking ass. <laughs> Not crucify. <laughs> I don't know what you uh, I'm on. What do they So a lot of times, you know, we get stagnant, we get, you know, locked into what we um, listen to that we don't give new music a chance. But I guess that 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 moves into the segue of Little Nas X and giving new music a chance. Little Nas X, huh? <laughs> ah, uh, Old Town Road was 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 a good song. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It was catchy. It was a good beat, you know. Until what? The the visuals was nice until he made it more about his sexuality than just the song. Okay. And, I mean. But yes, you really I, couldn't tell from the video that. That's why I say it was a catchy song. It was something that, you know. Just kind of different. It's kind of like uh, Superman. When Soldier Boy came out with that Yule and ah. people didn't know that <laughs> Superman meant what it meant. But, hey, you know, kids are singing it. Had so it, it was a catchy song. It was very, but his new song, I'm not into it. What's the name of the song? Uh, I don't know. I watched I seen the video. A video. Yeah, I seen a video, and I'm, I'm not into the video really. I'm not into none of it. <clears throat> but it's not catchy. It's not. There's millions of people that are. No, they're not. Millions of people. No, they're that not. video has they're, millions of likes. They're catching the wave. They're riding a the wave, uh-huh. and the wave is sexuality. Uh-huh. It's not. It's about saying f you to. Christianity and making fun of Christianity and making a mockery of it and sitting here and saying that's what it is. So they're that's support, the wave. They're supporting that. I'm the not, song is not good. Yeah, yeah, the it's song not good. Is trash. The but, video is not good. Like <laughs> I watch a lot of stuff with like <laughs> different. I, I watch all types of stuff. Manga. I watch vampires. Uh, Lucifer. So I watch different types of stuff. The the video is trash. The message behind the video has sparked the interest of a lot of people in this country. And the message, what I got from just reading stuff is that, um, you know, little Nas X finally feels confident enough to be himself, which is a homosexual man. The video is not about being confident. Now he can make a video where he's giving (laughs) other men lap dances or he's getting. That's not what the video is about. I watched the video. He's sitting on Satan's lap rubbing his ass on him. It's about making a mockery of Christianity. It's about sticking it to him and saying, F you. This is what I believe in. This is me. I'm coming out, which is fine if that's you and you coming out. But no need to make a mockery of somebody else's, you know, beliefs. Because when people, it's like. You expect people not to do it to you. Right. And then you go around and you do it to a whole religion who you feel has been handicapping you. But that's not, that is, that, that is people. That's people. There is, um, I think, a lot of resentment, hate um, that he has, or I guess anyone in his situation, towards anti-gay religions because they feel that they have had to hide themselves, uh, pretend to be someone they're not, uh, just to ensure they don't get uh, mocked and made fun of or felt uncomfortable or they're accepted like normal people. Because if he went to a church, they'd be like, they would say no. I would ask them when's the last time he'd been to a church. Probably when they kicked him out or laughed him out or we, pointed we at him saying you're going to but hell. But we don't know that. We don't know that. So he's, like I said, he's riding away because this is more than a, inclusion culture yeah you have your people who's going to make fun of you and you have those people who are not going to agree with what you agree with i mean that's 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 people and it's okay for people not to agree with what you believe in right that's just that's the way of the world you know so to sit here and say i want to be excluded i want to be included i want to be uh treated the same and then you sit here and you go and you make a video mocking a religion. Right. The same one that you said been keeping you down. If they did that to you and kept beating you down and kept doing that, you'd have a fit. But you're telling this dude sit there and get punched and don't punch back. This video was his punch back to the religion that kept him down all his life. Listen, it's not how it used to be. We all know that. It's not how it used it's to be. It's a little bit more open now. It's not even that. Uh I don't know. A lot of people have this, you know, 
this viewpoint that gays are being mistreated all the time by everybody. I grew up and I I don't see that. I didn't see that growing up. Right. And I've been around gays or transgenders growing up and just from my family, they've always, you know, for the most part been accepted of whoever you are. They don't like have to like it, but you're still family. Yeah. So from my point, my standpoint, I just ain't never so I never rode that way. You've never been sold that there's like a a different um world for like gay people can can relate to like they what can't it's come like out. being a minority. Like they can't come out. Can gay discrimination and race discrimination be the same? No. 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 So it's not that serious. No, it's not it's not no. that rampant. It's not no. that widespread. I mean, I just I just look back to <sighs> To early times when you had the Athens, you had them who who carried over the gay culture as far as sleeping with little boys and what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, early Western civilization, they used to sleep with boys. That's weird. Yeah, Spartans. That's your people. Spartans too. Spartans. <laughs> yes. See, that's what I'm saying. So it's just hard. It's hard for me. And then you know you had the you had the religion that came along and. I guess that rule for a little while, but to me, it's just been like a back back and forth, and I'm just kind of tired of the back and forth about who you want to sleep with. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. And so, then, I just no man. Yeah, I, I just I just find it very comical because if I sat here and I walked a girl around on a leash and I was a dominatrix, people would think I'm weird and I get laughed at, made fun of. But that's my sexuality. That's that's what I would like. You know, if I was a person that was a dominatrix. Yeah. So, you know, it's a lot of people that get excluded. They got those leather suits. Of, and those I just feel like, you know, your sexuality is your sexuality. So for you personally, don't bother you. Whatever you do. Whatever matter. you do is whatever you do. But I just, you're just saying you're getting tired of hearing that. I'm just tired of it being the center of focus when we have other pressing issues. I got you. Yeah. Um, from Lil Nas X himself, he tweeted... Um, he was glad that his video upset a lot of Christians because, um, sip tea, sip tea. Yeah. What does that mean? It's none of my business. Oh, okay. Because, um, that's the same way he felt all his life due to how he was treated by those same Christians. Now he's kind of, you know, grouping everyone, but someone in that religion said, Hey, you're gay. You're going to hell. If you sleep with men, you're going to hell. If you like men, you're going to hell. Someone told him that as a child growing up, and he liked men as a child. So this has stuck with him all these years. It's like a, what was that thing I was telling you? Religious trauma syndrome. <laughs> if you look it up, that's what it is. Christians scaring children into conforming to what they believe or saying you're going to live forever in hell, burning in okay. pain. Yeah. Okay. But you don't care. I just. <laughs> it's not, not. It's hard to relate. It's more to the Bible than that. You know, it, it's more. You got people sleeping uh, outside of marriage. You got people committing all types of sin. That's just one sin that people focus on because they don't agree with it. And it's because it's a sin that they, I guess, highlight. But you have a lot of For sins. For no you reason. You have covetry. You have greed. You have lust. You have sex before marriage. You have adultery. You have. So you have all these different things that. If you keep doing constantly and they're still involved in your life and you're not trying to change or you're not a new being according to the Bible, it's, then you're no better than anybody else. So when people sit here and, and ridicule or talk down, it's different than encouraging. Yeah. Like if I'm in a church and I see my brother not doing something that he's not supposed to do, my job is to encourage him to do what he's supposed to do, not ridicule or make fun of him. You got Mary Magdalene, who was a whore, prostitute. You have um, one of the disciples, sh- freak, I forgot his name, but he used to kill Christians. So, you know, <laughs> it's not saying that you will, for certain, go to hell. What the Bible says is if you live in that sin, if you're not saved, if you don't believe in Christ, and you're not believe that he rose again on the third day according to the scripture, then you're not going to go to heaven. But that's if you believe in heaven. Some people don't believe in heaven. 
Can I get a question clarified? Go ahead. Can I die as a gay person and go to heaven? Just like you can't die and you committing the same sin that you been committing <laughs> since. No, no that okay. just it doesn't. Like I, I just hate when people say that. Like, I, I, who is people? I ain't never asked you that. No, I'm just saying people in general. Like, they bring up one point, uh-huh. but it's multiple points. Just like I and can't. then gay. Well, people that live in the gay lifestyle. Okay, uh-huh. they'll be like. What about these people that are doing such, such, such? It's all grouped in one category. Sin. Sin. It's yeah. all grouped. If you're not making a positive change in your life, if you're not trying to change your the way you live in, then you're not going to go to heaven. <laughs> it's just that simple. <laughs> you're not getting a ticket. As far as uh, man lies with another man, <laughs> it's difficult. Uh-huh. Because now it's you can marry the same person of the same sex. So if you lie with them and are you married, does the same rules apply? Right. So that goes back to, you know, so it's an understanding of the Bible. I, I guess a lot of people don't sit down and read the Bible for themselves uh-huh. like they should because you're supposed to read your Bible daily and not just listen to what somebody tells you is a scripture verse and then you go off that scripture verse. And then what a lot of people like to do is they like to use a, a certain scripture verse and then that whole scripture verse that they just use will say, they'll say it contradicts everything the Bible says, but they haven't, it's like getting a part of something, but not cherry getting picking. the whole story. Yeah. You just cherry so picking you're just taking agenda. a part of the story. Yeah. But you didn't take the whole story as the whole that it is and understand it and try to try to digest for the it. record. I don't go to church. If because they're full of people you die that I don't agree gay, with. you're going to hell. But on the <laughs> same note, if you die a murderer, you're going to hell. If you die a adulterer, you're going to hell. Listen, if you have not asked Jesus Christ in your life, uh-huh. according to the scripture, uh-huh. and are not living the lifestyle or not attempted to live the lifestyle that you need to be living, then yes, you are going to go to hell. So according gotta- to the scripture. Going to burn forever. Uh, you, you'll have a lot of, you'll, you'll be tormented. That's what it says. <laughs> so my thing is, I, I agree with the Bible as far as, you know, the, the lessons that it has, the the Ten Commandments, the uh, how you're supposed to treat people, how you're supposed, how Jesus treated people, how he was uh, soothed and how they accepted Jesus as far as, you know, the people that, followed him and saw his miracles. That's what I take from the Bible. They got good moral codes to live by. So when people sit here and ask me, like, I just don't see the reason in not following the Bible, I guess. <clears throat> so if somebody asks me, I just don't see the reason in not. <sighs> Tonight is sitting here saying that I'm going to go out and murder people. I'm going to steal. I'm going to commit adultery. I'm going to have sex throughout my whole life without being married. So I just don't agree with that. I don't think that's how we're supposed to live. I don't think that's our lifestyle. You know, now people ask me about Lil Nas X and his lifestyle. I just don't agree with it on a scientific level. As far as us. Populating the world. And you know the way our bodies fit together, <laughs> the way our, <laughs> the way we're separated, the I'm way. Trying to maintain a serious face. I, I'm trying because, just because I don't agree with it, don't mean that you know I don't respect. Uh huh. You know I I cannot agree with your lifestyle. I don't agree with people who who rob people who steal who kill. I don't I don't agree with them, but don't mean I don't know those people or don't have those in my family member that I still love. Yeah. I just don't agree with that lifestyle. I have drug dealers in my family. I just don't agree with that lifestyle. What do you think about... What what was this story about the Nike shoes? Did you read about it? Yeah. Because I I didn't didn't go into detail. I heard that... Oh, I seen the 666 on them. And um, someone mentioned there was human blood in the soles of the shoes. All I know is Nike said that it ain't trademark and you were trying to use their name. And they, they said, no, it it's down, not going to huh? happen. I don't see nothing wrong with it. 
think Lil Nas X can rap. I think he does country music good. Country music good? Yeah. So he, you wouldn't classify him as a rapper? No. Hip hop artist? No. I, I don't, the song is not good. Like I said, the song is not good to me. Yeah. It's just not. Like people's, I like uh, Stan with Elton John. I thought that was a good song. Right. I just don't like this song. I like Old Town Road when it first came out. It was catchy. I, um, I just. I used to listen to Garth Brooks. What? I ain't never heard you listen to Garth Brooks. I did. He's not gay, though. Uh, I thought he was. No. <laughs> 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 um, that's funny. <laughs> I used Man, to listen to Young Thug for a little bit. Personally, I don't have any issues with his video, his uh, choice of sexual partners, his uh, uh, methods he used to... Um, uh, Describe or I don't like what's the word I'm, I'm looking for, not describe to, you know, share his uh, thoughts and opinions and feelings to. What's the word I'm looking for? I think he's being a bully. You think he's being a bully? Yep. How? To Christians. What? Yep. I think he's being a bully to those people, and he's saying ha ha, and then making fun of their religion. He's a bully. Just like they were to him, and that is karma. If you believe in karma. I don't believe in karma. What he receives, he so gave I, back. I, I think they should they should uh crucify him. No, what they call him. <laughs> 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 fucking ass. <laughs> Not crucify. <him. laughs> I don't know what you're uh, saying, man. What do they do on Twitter? Uh ban him. Block him. That's not what they call Black it. Account. That's not what they call it. Uh censor. Cancel. Cancel. Yeah. He needs to be canceled because he's a bully. Cancel Nas X because he's a bully. Yeah. He don't agree with the Christian culture. He's a bully. <laughs> I, I just, I'm, I'm really don't, not for none of that. Personally, I don't. Um, really, I could care less. Yeah. I'm yeah. not going to sit here and watch the video. I'm not going to sit here and add a view to it. So it doesn't really, I don't really care. I thought you watched the video. I'm not going to watch it again. Oh, okay, okay. I'm going to have to watch it again just to see. Go ahead. Enjoy. Um, I bet you want to see him kiss himself <laughs> on, the, on the stomach again. <laughs> Oh, see, I didn't even see that part. So, yeah, I just kind of zoomed through. You want to see him in the Morris Simpson hairdo? Uh, Express. That's what I've been looking for. I don't have any problem with how he expresses himself, his sexuality, his thoughts, his feelings. Because I don't give a fuck. Because it don't bother me. Um, But it bothers some people really bad. If you don't like it, move on. Scroll on. Don't watch it. It's yeah, that that's what I'm Don't watch it. Turn off the radio. You got MP- I don't even know anybody who listens to the radio. No, not even when I'm driving. I got YouTube on. So a lot of people are just watching the video because they want to see what they're talking about. Skip a Shannon in the morning. I don't even watch that. You don't watch Skip a Shannon? Oh, I listen I to it. I watch clips. I listen to it on the But as soon as they start talking about the Cowboys, I turn it off. <laughs> so you're a Cowboy hater. <laughs> no, I just, uh, I just get tired. We've been talking for a while. Let us know your thoughts on Little Nas X. Let us know your thoughts on... Is there really a problem out here with the the community, Christian versus gay community? Is there really a problem? Is there really an issue? Is Or is it being are, blown up? Are they blowing up this whole video and this song? Because I didn't know there was a problem. I really didn't care. I thought they squashed it. I yeah. thought there was gay people that went Listen, to Christian churches. It, it is. That's why, I'm, I, that's why I just don't care. I know. Yeah, I just don't But care. we had to talk about it because someone asked me to. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. yeah. Rest in hey. peace, DMX. Real music. Recipe, <laughs> real music, according to him. Mm. Anyway, like, share, subscribe. Let us know if there's anything you want us to talk about. Any liquors you want us to try? We got bourbon. Get you that twenty dollars. Huh? You feeling that little drink? Huh? Take I, another shot. I love that. Um, anyway, we out. Peace. You ugly motherfucker.